In the mysterious depths of our planet's oceans, where currents dance with coral and shadows weave tales of predator and prey, there exists a creature that embodies the epitome of power and precision. Join us today as we plunge into the underwater realm, exploring the enigmatic world of the Great Barracuda. With its sleek silver body and formidable presence, the Great Barracuda is more than a predator. It's a living legend, patrolling the blue expanses with the grace of a shadow and the speed of a torpedo. Great Barracudas can swim at speeds up to 36 miles per hour and grow to more than 5 feet long and weigh more than 100 pounds. They have wicked-looking teeth, coupled with their robust underbites, make for a deadly bite. <laughs> a little power in that job. All right, he's gone. Barracudas have a mouthful of long, needle-like teeth meant for grabbing onto slippery fish. While those large teeth hold on to the fish, the shorter triangular teeth shear the flesh. Fingers are getting a little stiff. Oh wow, I uh. cannot believe you're about to do this. Barracudas don't swallow fish whole. Instead, they rely on their teeth to cut them up into manageable chunks before swallowing. They use their hunting prowess to feed on anchovies, tuna, mullet, snapper, grouper, jacks, and other medium-sized fish. They hunt mostly during the day in the surface layer of the ocean. Young barracuda necessarily eat smaller creatures and hunt opportunistically. Though they stay away from crustaceans like crabs and lobster as well as mollusks, barracudas are blue-gray to brown in color with whitish undersides. One of their most distinctive features is the dark blotches along their backs and the lower half of their sides, similar to tiger stripes. Oh wow, I cannot believe you're about to do this. Young barracudas can actually change colors and patterns depending on where they are in the ocean, but adults are pretty much stuck with the look they have. Barracudas occasionally bite humans. Humans don't fit their prey image, so the barracuda aren't attacking for food. Rather, they bite either by mistake or in self-defense. Right? The majority of barracuda bites occur when barracudas try to take dead or struggling fish from spear fishers. Shiny objects attract the barracuda's attention. Because of that, they usually hunt fish with golden or silver scales. Divers might be wise to avoid wearing jewelry in their presence. They can swim at 25 miles per hour, which is useful both for hunting and for escaping from predators such as killer whales and sharks. Generally, adult barracudas are considered to be solitary when it comes to hunting. Though young barracudas tend to gather in large schools, sometimes in hundreds or even thousands. Schooling offers the young fish protection from predators on the basis of safety in numbers. Often when a predator attacks a school, the school will form a confusing tornado, preventing any one barracuda being fixed upon as prey in the eyes of the predator. Have you ever seen how lions and tigers hide behind bushes waiting to pounce upon an unsuspecting prey? While the barracuda exhibits similar behavior when it comes to hunting, this large fish remains still and motionless for hours till a prey swims by, and when it does, the barracuda attacks with lightning speed. Oh my god! Juvenile barracudas can change their color to camouflage with their surroundings, this smart move helps them to merge with the surroundings, making it difficult for predators to locate them. Barracudas, especially the juveniles, love to hang out around coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass. You'd rarely encounter a barracuda in the open ocean, 